What's up guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the fish in the Super Simple Budget Aquarium. Uh, just before we start the video, I do have some frozen brine shrimp, which I'm just gonna release into the tank for these guys to eat, so you can just watch them feed in the background. And as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the fish in the Super Simple Budget Tank and, or Budget Aquarium. And in this video, I wanted to do the next month's growth update. So you will notice, or you will hopefully have seen, that over the past few months, I've been doing growth updates on the fish in the Super Simple Budget Aquarium. Now, I'm really happy, I would say, the best fish is probably the Tiger Aranda. This is probably the best quality fish and the fish that has grown the most. Now I'm gonna head over to the Super Simple Budget Aquarium in a minute and talk to you a little bit more about it because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it going for that much longer. I may keep it up for the next few months or so, but it has to come to an end at some point and I have to sort of concede with the growth trial. So the fish in the Goldfish Mega Tank are doing absolutely amazing. Hopefully you know by now if you follow on Instagram, the new, I'd say tricolor, maybe, orange, black and red aranda is called Cornelius and the other short tail, short body black aranda is called Kong after King Kong because he reminds me very similar of King Kong, big stocky fish with loads of muscles. That's sort of what he looks like and that is how I settled on that name. But enough about the goldfish mega tank, let's head over to the Super Simple Budget Aquarium and talk a little bit more about that. So here we have the Super Simple Budget Aquarium. Hopefully you guys all know this already, but you may notice that we only have two fish in the aquarium. Now, I wanted to make this video, I'm always honest and I always tell you exactly what happens in my fish keeping journey just to help educate others and just to share my journey and share my story. I could keep so many things a secret and I could make, I could probably tell the tale that it is super easy and a great hobby keeping fancy goldfish, but obviously there are down, downsides and down points as well. Now, a couple of days ago, we actually lost Mario, which is really, really sad. I found him upside down. It wasn't a massive shock to me, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why. So around, I would say, probably about five days ago now, I woke up, checked on the Super Simple Budget Aquarium, and Lava Boy, the tiger aranda, was doing absolutely fine and absolutely acting completely normal. But Naruto and Mario were stressed like crazy completely bloodshot fins heavy mucus real lethargic floating at the top not moving weren't interested in food at all and i thought that was really really strange especially because lava boy was acting completely fine so what i did was a big water change about 80 percent water change made sure to match the temperatures and i saw a slight improvement gave it a couple more days and did another water change and naruto definitely is significantly better. There's still quite a lot of sort of hemorrhaging on him, but he's definitely much better, much more active, and much more, uh, the fins are a lot clearer, and he doesn't have those bloodshot sort of fins. But Mario, unfortunately, did not make it. Real sort of freak accident happened very quickly. This is one of the downsides to maybe fish keeping in general, but it is something that happened, so really sad to lose Mario. I hope Naruto is gonna be okay. Fingers crossed he is there. He is definitely much better. Obviously this could have been a water quality or a parasite issue. Now, considering I haven't added any fish or I haven't done anything to the tank, I hadn't done a water change prior for, I think like seven days prior. So it wasn't new water causing any issues or anything like that. So, and I hadn't added any new fish or changed anything in the tank. It just really came out of nowhere. So potentially there was a power, a quick power cut in the night. Maybe the filter didn't turn back on, caused, maybe low oxygen or really stress them out but there was no issues with the fish in the goldfish mega tank they've been absolutely fine and i still haven't noticed any issues at all with them so i'm thinking it was something to do with the water something the fish weren't quite happy with but obviously you can see lava boy is absolutely fine so that is the update on these guys I'm, i want to do a few pictures of them show the growth update see if they've changed at all over the past month i don't want to hold them up to the glass i don't want to put my hands in the tank 
Don't stress them out at all because obviously they're stressed as they are. But I'm going to get a few pictures, put them on the screen now, and we can check out to see if they've grown or changed at all. So let's check it out. So as you can see on Naruto here, the fins are a little bit red, but they're definitely significantly better than they were before. Now you'll notice in the before and after pictures, the before picture is in the top right hand corner, that his caudal fin has definitely extended in length and that black, deep black coloration has definitely thickened on him and it's definitely increasing. Now I thought that black might may reduce and it would actually turn to orange, but it is actually becoming more prominent, which is really interesting and slightly unusual on a tricolor aranda. Now here is Lava Boy looking absolutely fine, no issues at all with him here. He's definitely been putting some weight on in the body area. Doesn't look like there's a huge difference from the before and after pictures but there is definitely an increase in weight and size and he is definitely the biggest fish in the tank now i'm going to update you guys on how they are both doing in the next episode but i am pleased to say there looks like there is a good recovery so far but look out for the next episode to see how they are doing that is it on the growth update and I think this is probably going to be the last one I do. Now I don't know whether I'm going to keep this tank running for maybe two, three months more maybe or maybe I'll consider adding Lava Boy to the Goldfish Mega Tank seeing if maybe the growth speeds up, seeing if anything changes like that. Now obviously you may know I have been using the Hulk's food to feed these guys for this growth update so I have been feeding the Hulk's you may also notice that I haven't been advertising hulks at all on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or anything like that. And I don't really want to go into too much detail, but I've decided quite a while back to stop um, advertising the hulks food. I don't want to go into detail or ruin any anything online, but the hulks had a massive, I will say, hulks had a huge or have a huge issue with supplying this food and people couldn't get hold of it i absolutely love the food i will say that i absolutely love the food and i would love to continue using it but unfortunately their business and brand didn't quite meet the expectations i guess i had and really hard to get hold of the food people struggling to get hold of it so that is why i decided to sort of cut ties with hulks but as i said i don't want to go into too much detail i love the food and that was really it just a personal decision it didn't quite meet the expect expectations i have and it didn't meet what i wanted you guys to have as well so that is just why i've stopped advertising those i thought i really need to explain that to you guys and I, obviously as i mentioned no hatred towards them they did nothing wrong nothing like that it's just an unfortunate stage with the business but as we come to the end of this video and i've probably done a little bit quite a few updates throughout this video i also wanted to mention one quick thing about the japanese top view ranchu pond that we have outside i haven't done any video updates and on this for a reason and the reason is i'm actually deciding to get rid of the pond i don't spend enough time outside and i don't spend enough time admiring looking at the fish outside and so i want to get rid of the pond and the pond is actually going to be going up for sale now i have spoken to a few friends that may be taking it so by the time this video is out i'm not sure if the pond will still be for sale but if you are interested in the pond and you're in or you're happy to collect it from south london or the surrey area i'm not giving my address out but the surrey area or south london is where the ranchu pond is located and you are interested in purchasing it please hit me up on instagram a link is down below or feel free to message through the fancy goldfish fanatics facebook page just send me a message if you're interested in it just for a few quick details obviously you get the pond around 650 liters i believe two internal filters comes with sponges in the internal filters but i will be keeping the biohome media in there so you will need some kind of biological media also you're going to get the pot with the planted lily in it as well so full plug and play system two filters lily 650 litre tank window all the cladding on the outside obviously the cladding isn't done by a professional i did do this myself a little bit of a diy job but it looks absolutely great and i really really like it so if you're interested in the pond it is for sale i did lift it with two people so it's it's heavy but just a little bit cumbersome so if you are going to are thinking about purchasing it then please make sure you have a large enough vehicle or maybe hire a small van but enough on the little ad for the japanese japanese top view ranch coupon maybe i'll talk a little bit about it in future videos but that is it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed the update on the super simple budget aquarium as i said a shame about mario 
But it's good to see that Naruto is making a slight recovery and Lava Boy is doing absolutely great. And I will obviously update you in future if I decide to maybe put him in the Goldfish Mega Tank or what I potentially decide to do with this aquarium. But that's it for today's video. Any questions, leave them down below. If you want to have your tank or setup featured on our Rate My Tank series or our Tank Tour series, then leave a comment down below or feel free to email me at fantasygoldfishfanatics at gmail.com. But that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping. Thank you.